guys and welcome back to my city builder channel here on youtube i'm ben and today i'm playing westfield again in episode 14. um i quickly want to tell you what we did um the last episode we added or i added in the oak ore products i planned out the meadowland and this will also be about ore production I replanned the farming industries over here. Um, we reached, I think, a new level with the Pleasant Career Center. So this is um, actually in stage two now, or has two stars. Uh, the College of Liberal Arts is still has still some way to go. Um, I removed this industrial area that was located here. Um, I replanned the whole farming and moved it from here to there. And yeah, this industrial area still has to go over time, but I think this will still take a little while until we actually can do it. And what I want to do, first of all, I started cleaning up the cemeteries, um, I think in my last session. So um, before doing that, I actually always check whether um, there are no deceased like corpses stored no is in use um, so this emptying is finished so we can delete it because we have and this is something really important you only can do it or should be doing it when you have um, like a incarceration no, no. oh god sorry like a i tell you in a sec one 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 second because this is really embarrassing kind of so a crematorium as soon as you have crematoriums in your city you can start or think about deleting um the cemeteries that you previously had this will save you at least some money um because you don't need them any longer. People are not complaining. Well, they are kind of complaining, but not enough to worry about it. And the other problem I realized that we are having is, well, have a look over here at the Peasant Career Center. Um, loads of buses are piling up here. So there is definitely something wrong too many bus lanes um, ending up here in this university district as well as well, i think you can see it over here there are loads of buses coming in so what i want to do and this is something you might want to well think about every once in a while when you're planning or restructuring or adding new districts in to your city is think about replanning your bus lanes so it occasionally makes sense and as you can see people complain first of all because you're removing bus stations that they used before but believe me this will not stop them or bring them to move um, out of your city as long as you're adding in new uh, bus lanes and yeah sometimes it just makes sense to do that so now now we're almost back to a vanilla state um and yeah what we should do now is we should definitely add in some new bus stations and reorganize things so what i'm planning to do is i want those bus lanes to stick within their district so there will be one bus lane going around here there will be another one going around this maybe two lines let's see and another one that goes around here. So we're starting right over there. Um, we add in our first um, stop. And there's something else I want to make sure about this time. I want to make sure that bus stops are not located close by crossings. And especially they're not located close by important let's say roads that bring in a huge amount of traffic to my town um, because that got me into trouble 
already the last time. So I want to make sure that I'm not making the same mistake again. Um, so I'm currently laying out like my favorite um, it's it's kind of mm. like important that you try to cover within a walking distance um, every part of your town or of your city um, the walking distance is important but um, when you remember playing city sim city 4 for example um, the walking distance actually was very very short and this game i think the walking distance is sometimes unreasonably um long so people seem to like to walk in some kind of way um which is something that i was really wondering about in the very first place because i yeah being used to playing SimCity 4 um this is like so new and something you might not be used to but it's it's okay just well even that could be too too close it's well it's not bad to have a close bus stop available for sure not but this could be already too close so that less people are yeah actually waiting when but i want i want to have them i want them to have a convenient way to get to work to get to the office wherever they want to um because i myself for example i tend i always tend to be in a close walking distance to for example subway stations because it's the most um, convenient way to get around in the town where i'm coming from or currently living at um, so yeah convenience is the most important thing i guess or i would assume and for that reason I just want to make sure that people can easily enjoy their way to work without having to worry too much about um, having to stay too long in one bus lane uh, in one bus lane so now we connected everything um, but as you might think we need some way of transport and I'm just thinking um, we need some way of transport between like intercity if you could call it like that so there should be an option for the people to go from one part of town to the other and then easily go back again even though if they would have to switch um, bus lanes they actually don't mind it's really really interesting from my perspective because I wouldn't expect that to happen well, 
I don't like this one. Too close to the main road. I think there could be another one and then we are closing this line here as well. This is really a short line, but maybe we'll extend it in a while. And then we are adding in like this here. And I think this line could already go to the Lilac College of Liberal Arts. It could go to that part of town. It should definitely stop close by the stadium, I think, and go to the university. And then come back here. So this is basically now connected. And the only thing that's missing is a connection between this part of town. And I think we can add it easily in here to do we want to have it like that to that part of town and go back so it should be good for now at least for a little while i was to be honest previously thinking about adding in a subway line um something well i love subways and when you again Thinking about cities, SimCity 4, it was really a necessity to add in subways as soon as possible because the overall amount of traffic was just huge and sometimes a bit overwhelming. Um, so this time I'm in, in City Skylines, it, it's a bit different from my perspective because uh, you can still manage traffic almost easily um, when you're having, yeah, enough alter alternatives or offering enough alternatives um, like public transportation. There are a couple of other ways that you could do. You could add in, for example, monorails something well it it would be okay maybe it's a bit too soon and in one point of time actually wanna have l like a rail line going through the woods here and this will be the only option or the only way that i'm going to separate these huge woods from this part of town to that part of town i'm not going to build here any like residential commercial or whatever office zones industrial zones i don't want to do that because um, i don't want to destroy nature but i think running a train track or at max a um, highway through the woods would be hmm, kind of okay ish so and now we're having trouble with that crossing and I know those how do you call it those star like crossings where three roads are hitting each other are always a bit of a hassle so I'm using the transportation uh, the traffic manager um, just to have a look at the settings of the those crossings here. And what I'm a bit worried about is actually the fact that people, and this is something I have to change, are not using... So what does that mean, guys? Who wants to turn left here? Okay, now, now they are all going like there. So 
So they start piling up a couple of people getting over here. Maybe I shouldn't allow them to go back there. So now it's piling up again here. And I think, I think, yeah, this was another issue. Um, I have to kind of manage this somehow. So Ooh. Um, let me think. Don't want to have people parking here. Don't want to have people parking there. Uh, you could park here, even though I don't like you. Um, but these main roads should stay basically free of any parking thingy. Um, then we have to do some like you go you go the other ones stop sometimes i get the impression that people are just ignoring my stop signs <laughs> me well if you know in case you know what i'm doing wrong let me know uh, please let me know because i'd be really curious about that what i'm actually doing wrong here uh so I think that's enough and this is enough. Um, over here we have you going, you going, we have you going and you going. So that looks good. Um, over here, we're doing some lane management now. This is not ideal, I know, not really. So this is the option, this is one option, this is one option, and this is another option. So you should easily be able to go in there as soon as the traffic allows it. I'm doing the same kind well, over here, we're not running into issues over there. Is it a bus stop? Honestly, yeah, it's a bus stop blocking the traffic so and you're getting sick now i think due to traffic reasons am i right no you already feel better and over here it's pretty much the same I'm just thinking whether I am prohibiting and this shouldn't happen as well. So I have to do some lane management over here as well. Like you only go there, you only go there and you only go there. You only go there. And this is an issue, so I have to upgrade this roundabout for sure. Uh, just because of this part, this little part to, let's say, a three lane thing. And I'm not using the underground. Let's change roads just to. Can be easily upgraded. So we have now a completely or almost new situation. You go here, you go there, you can go there, and you can go there. Do your lane shenanigans wherever you want. 
this is okay. Should I set it up like this and this and have you only go straight? You can go here. You can go there. And regarding this here, you can go only there. You may go here, you may go there, and you may only go there. Then I think we are almost back in the game. This might actually end up in a small catastrophe. <laughs> um, let's wait and see what happens. I'll, I'll tell you in a second because maybe, well, no, let me tell you right now. It could happen that people are not able to switch lanes um, between those crossings because the roundabout is too small. So they will choose or have to choose different routes um, for their kind of getting along here. So maybe the traffic is now piling up at a totally different situation uh, or location, I'm sorry, at a totally different place. Um, this could happen, hopefully it doesn't happen. Um, so I'm doing some check up over here. So you can switch, okay, that's fine. You should go, you should wait or just take care that none of, that you are not blocking any of this traffic. This is fine. This is also kind of piling up. Ah, oh, this is a total mess, a total mess it is. I don't want you guys to go straight. I either want you to turn left or right, but not go straight. And same for you guys here. So either left or right, there's no other option. And for you guys, I have to change it as well. I'm sorry. Um, so this is not allowed and this is not allowed, I think. This should be running a bit more smoothly now. So let's see. I will have some some traffic issues in the near future due to the fact that we're planning really on a small scale here, on a small level. And this is kind of yeah, it's a bit more difficult with graphic management, to be honest. As you can see, things are piling up here. And yeah, let's see what we are doing with the other part of town over there. Um, so let me just think. A very quick, very quick while. Is there anything? So yeah, we can add in. And that's what I want to do. Um, for now, we could add in a few more zones. The demand of residential and commercial is well, kind of evened out which is okay. So we have some office space here. We have some residential zones here. So let's include high rise offices. I, oh, high rise commercial, high rise offices. Add another office zone here to there. And then we leave some space for a walkway and we are adding it right away just to make sure that 
people are not confused a later stage um, so we're adding one in from total node snapping I don't want to have any node snapping here like from here to there wait well, why do you think this place is already occupied oh come on okay sometimes the anarchy mod is the solution if it doesn't work in a different way sometimes uh, you just have to use the anarchy mod it doesn't help unfortunately so we're changing that again we leave it just like it is and i have and i have some commercials over here some commercials over there we might have to change that again in a while at in high rise high rise and a few more low rise opportunities and we're using this as for different purposes like let's add in something like a beautiful park here maybe a bigger one something like a japanese garden people will love it for sure floating cafe and also a little plaza with picnic tables sounds good i think yeah so people are definitely profiting <clears throat> over here from this redevelopment and i think about adding in another walkway here just to keep it kind of consistent and make things a bit more pleasant and not like well we're leaving this space not not really occupied for now mm. and we are waiting for more residents moving in to this part of town so let's check our health um our schools our schools our schools we don't have any public school here where well, we could easily add in one here as well so let's think about a public school yeah maybe we just add one in here and then maybe something bigger like what is it it's a high school a university we don't need that at that place a library community like something like a community school well it perfectly fits yay so we're using that and again adding in a, a walkway for the people to help them get from A to B easily just by walking. Um, so another thing I wanted to take care of is whether I already have all my new university buildings like what is this the arts thingy um so we have dormitories already we have a study hall we have a ground keeping we have a book club do we already have the park no yes not yet okay we're reorganizing things here a 
little bit, at least. here then let's add in the park over there we do not yet have the gymnasium which is something we could easily fit in here the cafeteria do we have it already Let's add one in. And the trade school fountain. Yay. The fountain. Is it a go to place? A fountain? Having a fountain in a university? Mm, maybe. Yeah, we'll add that later. So we changed that now. <coughs> Let's see what happens. We have to make sure. So the attractiveness actually got way better. More students are coming in. We are already recognized. Um, we are offering free lunch and visiting scholars because we can yeah, just afford it. We are supporting IT and engineering. Um, and I think we should also do the same or there's a game actually happening quite soon. I think we should do the same over here. Free lunch, visiting scholars, students. We haven't reached enough students yet, but this will change soon. Oh, these are pretty high expenses. Universities are never cheap, but that's yeah like a matter of fact i definitely have to look for something like a um parking thing i have one mod installed and i just wanted to show you this mod is actually something i'm a bit yeah kind of worried about because well how should i place it this it says it's occupied now maybe it doesn't say it's occupied but how how how, how am i connecting Um, so this is stupid. No, 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 no. Let me delete it, please. Yes, I want. How can I connect it? Is there anyone ever, ever? like ever parking here so we can have one road going from over here to there oh, this would be totally strange but let's try it i have one road join here and have another road join there Let's see what happens if people are actually coming into this parking lot. To be honest, I assume not. And I've never really understood this mod, as you can see. Um, I wish I had. So if in case someone of you does have a hint for me how to lay out things um, more easily 
I'd be really happy if you could let me know. Um, yeah, because actually it'll, it would help me a lot with um, getting this parking situation solved for the stadium. So I'm adding in. loads of parking opportunities in here and I'm pretty sure it won't help. strange layout it does look nice but are people getting in there i don't think so nobody is going there like literally nobody um so maybe i'm doing something completely wrong here it's not only maybe i guess i'm doing something completely wrong here Dishonorable no parking, one driver remaining. Is it something like, oh shit, what did I do here? What did I do here? Just let me get this back, that back, and that deleted and this is deleted for now and I'm adding in like one lane how are you nuts are you really nuts I think you are so I'm adding in and I'm trying to do this. Well, I guess that is not an option to, not an option to do it. Hmm. I have to find that out. Maybe that's something I will take care of next episode if I was able to find out. So we're destroying the structure for now. It cost us some money, but it's not really, there really is someone park here. I can't believe it. Um, it did cost us some money, um, but we'll get it solved anyway soon. Um, so people can still pass through here. There's, there are loads of things happening at the moment. Let's see the situation of that here. So it's balanced, it's fine, it's good. What's wrong with this patch? It has crops, it has flowers, so we're producing pastries. Yeah, you're missing the glass over here. And, hmm. Yeah, I think this is it for for this episode. Um, yeah, so thanks again for tuning in here on my City Builders channel on YouTube. Um, I'm Ben, and I really want to thank you for your support. If you would leave me a like, I'd be really happy about it on this video. Um, hopefully, I'll reach a thousand likes within a couple of weeks sometime soon and yeah um subscribe to my channel click that little bell icon so that you get notified as soon as there is a new episode online 
Um, I really hope to see you coming back to my channel sometime soon. And yeah, have a good day. Stay safe and have a good time. Thanks.